Sussex away from Invictus, the German authorities refused their admittance, shocking Meg. Zara and Mike Tyndall took their place. Following their admittance denial by the German authorities, Meg roars as Zara and Mike Tyndall took the place of Sussex's during Invictus' closing ceremony. Among the most harmful brands in the world is Harriet Meghan, which is prevalent in the entertainment industry, the general public, and the royal family in particular. According to recent reports, Tyndall was approached by the organizers to co-host the Invictus Games since veterans expressed a desire for her to join the show. To ensure that Harry and Meghan stayed away from the Invictus Games, the German authorities even forbade them from entering the country. The Invictus Games fanbase posted comments on Twitter when it was reported that Zara and Mike had received a call from Invictus back in April. Mike deserves my vote since he must be really good for this. Even though Zara and Mike are not in the military, they are nonetheless athletes in their own right and are cherished members of the royal family. Mike would make a fantastic envoy. A fantastic co-host would be Zorro. Michael Zorro would be ideal, but not everyone can abstain from the Invictus game series. As an alternative, these athletes will be asked to compete in the Warrior Games as a show of support for their community work. In principle, it would be fantastic to establish a global support network for all veterans and military personnel, as any of these veterans would have served alongside veterans from other countries. All the necessary infrastructure, including access to the rooms and restrooms to accommodate varying degrees of handicap, will be in place if these events are held at the same venue within a year of the Paralympics. After removing Mega and Harry from the group, Invictus should show up as reporters for Mike, Tyndall, and Mike on the new TV panel. The Grand Slam Rugby Tournaments where the victorious England rugby team competes behind bars as Invictus's spokespeople, Mike and Zara would be excellent. Neither Harry's addiction nor Meghan's depraved actions should be used to characterize them. If they are unable to pay for new oil, watch for a decline in Invictus sponsorships in the future. The question of whether this game will go on as long as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are regular guests was recently raised on News Network. That is an issue for the organization, and they ought to give it careful thought. They should think about it if they wish to keep helping veterans. The distinct mindset that reveals the shine is created by the sexes. Harry and Meghan's popularity among the general public isn't due to their likability or the fact that they have a devoted fan base, rather, it's because they resemble the Jerry Springer performances of royalty, although Harriet Meghan didn't actually create this game. According to the source, the soldiers' rivalry should revolve around honor, sacrifice, and service, but Harry Meghan doesn't embody such values. Recall that Meghan pushed Harry to go to the Lion King premiere rather than a military memorial ceremony so she could boast to Disney CEO Bob Iger about her awful voice acting abilities. The amount of dislikes the Invictus trailer has received specifically because of Harry and Meghan is a testament to how much people detest them. It's unfortunate because veterans deserve so much more. Harry and Meghan are involved in and make this game about his money and where they built their reputation. In just released news Prince Harry, who is returning to the UK this week to attend the Well Child Awards, is anticipated to be disowned by his father, King Charles of Britain. The Royal Insider tells the story of the daily letters to the Mirror. Harry's father, who allegedly didn't have time to write his son a journal, was also claimed to be distant from him. This means there won't be any reconciliation between the Queen and Prince Harry very soon.